How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Attack and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite iOS 16 new features that most people still don't know. Today I'm going to show you how you can track your medications on your iPhone. And when I say medications, I'm also talking about supplements and vitamins. And by track your medication, I do mean fully track them. So you'll be able to log in all your meds that you're taking at the moment, you see a schedule, you'll be able to set alerts for those medications for when exactly you need to take them. It's absolutely complete. It's everything you need to organize and control your meds. I guarantee you, this is the best way this is a lifesaver. So, enough of the talking, let's begin. And all I have to do is tap on health. So go ahead to your health app, because as I said, this is an iOS 16 feature, is an Apple native feature, so you don't need to download anything. And then, if it's the first time you open up the health app, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen. So go ahead, fill it out, and then you're gonna come to this screen, the summary screen. And after that, all you have to do is tap here on browse at the bottom right hand corner, and then right here you see health categories, medications. And again, if you don't see medications here, it's because you're not updated to iOS 16, and you must be in iOS 16 to get this feature. So update your iPhone, come back, and then it'll be here, medications. Then tap on medications, and we can begin. And as you can see here, we have this huge banner and add medication. Tap here on add medication. And the first thing you need to do is type in the medication name. So then tap here and type it in. And I'm gonna use for this video, just a normal example, which will be Tylenol, as you can see right here. Please keep in mind that I'm not recommending you to take any medications or to use Tylenol in any way whatsoever or how I'm gonna set up right here. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not recommending anything related to taking medication or drugs or anything like that. This is just an example for educational reasons, okay? So, tap on next, and then here you can choose the medication type. And then here we have common forms like capsule, tablet, liquid, or topical. In this case, it'll be a capsule. But of course, it'll have a ton of other options. Like for example, you see here, cream, device, drops, foam, gel, inhaler, injection. So absolutely everything right here. So depending on your medication, you can choose the exact form that you're gonna take them. So this is super important, especially if you're doing this for multiple medications or for an elder person or something like that, okay? So in this case, capsule, so next. And then here, add the medication strength. And I'm gonna use this random example, which works for Tylenol. Again, this is just an education example, okay? So then I'm gonna go for 750 and you can choose a unit as well. So milligram, microgram, gram, milliliter. So you have all the options. In this case, I'm gonna choose milligram because it fits better with this situation, with this example, okay? And then next. And then, as you can see here, when will you take this? And this is one of the most important things because this is the scheduling. So this is when medication, the feature, will actually alert you. So this is super, super important, okay? So first, frequency. And by default, it'll say every day, but of course you can change that. So then you can tap on frequency. And here you can choose at regular intervals. So if it's a fixed thing, you choose this option and you can choose, for example, every day. So as you can see here, every day, so every single day or every other day or every three days or four days, you can go ahead and choose the best option for you. I'm gonna keep this as every day because it's gonna be better and easier for me to show it to you later, okay? Start date, so then you can see exactly when it will start. So then let's say today, so November the 22nd, so perfect, all right? But of course, you can choose specific days of the week. So maybe it's not every day, maybe it's a random thing, for example, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Sundays, whatever. So you can choose the best option for you, and this is fully customizable, so you can choose the correct days of your schedule of when you need to take the medication, okay? And then same story here, start date, and the last option as needed, and this option is pretty much where you can leave it like a blank date, so you only take the medication when you actually need it, and then you log in when you need it. But for this example, let's choose regular intervals, because as I said, it's easier to show you. Then we can tap on done, and here, as you can see, frequency every day, and time of the day, because sometimes you don't just take a medication once a day, but multiple times a day, like for example, three times a day, so from every eight hours. And that's the example I'm gonna use here. So then let's say I need to take this 
three times a day, so every eight hours. So I'm gonna tap here on add time, and then it'll say here 520. So I'm gonna tap here, and let's say I'll need to take this 6 p.m. Okay, the format is an international format, as you can see here. But of course, if your region on your iPhone is USA, for example, it'll say 6 p.m. Okay, so then six, and then the next one, eight hours later, so then it'll be 2 a.m., right? So then, 2 a.m. as you can see right here and then the final one will be at 10 in the morning right 10 a.m. eight hours after that again just as an example as we're using and as you can see on the right we have the amount that you need to take and by default it'll be one in this case one capsule because we chose capsule but of course maybe you need to take two capsules at a time or one and a half or something like that and you can change that as well. All you have to do is tap here on one capsule and you can change to two, for example, or as I said, 1.5, so one and a half. So this is so, so cool. I'm gonna leave it as one, but as you saw, you can choose exactly what you want. Now, let's tap on next. And here you can even choose the shape of the medication or even the shape of the package it comes in and this is super handy as well especially if you take multiple medications as i said in this case tylenol it'll be something like this but of course you have any possibilities all your possibilities adhesives even spoons so it's super easy to figure out what medication you need to take okay so let's tap on next once again and here the colors you can even customize that so for Tylenol it'll be white but of course maybe uh, your pill your capsule will be in a different color you can choose that and even the background because sometimes it's super easy to associate and memorize with a color so Tylenol we associate with red so tap on red here and then it's red in the background and then the pill is white awesome tap on next and here we have the review screen where we can see Tylenol capsule 750 milligrams the the icon every day the time the amount and even you can tap here uh, some notes so for example if you need to take this before a meal or after a meal or when it actually ends or whatever you can write notes as well okay so then after you're done tap on ok and here we have everything that we need. As you can see, we have this kind of schedule here, kind of calendar, which is super handy because you can go back in time or forward in time and see exactly what medications you need to take by day or you took the day before or last week, whatever, it's all on the record. But of course, in order for this to take action, you need to actually log manually your medication because here it'll remind you, it'll show you and it'll notify you at those times. But of course, you have to manually say I took it you have to register it okay and by and to do that all you have to do is tap on the plus and taken and then okay so as you can see here you have logged your medication and then it'll say here logged at 528 Tylenol perfect so at the time I took it which is the current time the medication perfect so then you know so then for example next week when you come back you'll be able to see that it took this medication this day at this time perfectly. And that's literally it. That's here your schedule, that's everything you need, that's how you use the medications. But of course, if you also need to edit or customize or change, all you have to do is tap here on your medications and then easily see here the edit button and then you can change everything. So the times, the strength, the amount, absolutely everything you can change here, the frequency, so you can edit your medication. And of course, if you wanna scroll down, you can also delete it. So after you're done, you can simply delete it. But what I recommend you to do is archive, because if you delete it, you not only delete the next uh, alarms and the next scheduling, but also the past ones. So I do recommend you that you archive, because when you do that, uh, it'll not notify you anymore, it'll be done, it'll understand that you don't need it anymore, but it'll keep the records. So you'll know exactly when, exactly when you took those medications on previous days, okay? So that's literally it. That's medications on your iPhone in iOS 16. I do hope you enjoy it and I do hope you take advantage of this feature and that it makes your life easier somehow. The point of this video is this, is sometimes you're taking a medication because they're going through something very hard i do understand it and maybe with this feature it'll just help you have some peace of mind knowing that you'll be alerted you'll be notified you have everything organized and if this can bring some comfort to you comfort to your heart 
uh, this makes me happy. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye-bye, guys.